Okay, okay, you guys. So I will try to explain how it, how the best way is to propagate or to germinate the aloe polyphylla because it's a very very beautiful plant, and uh, I hope that you will understand what I did. Excuse me for my English, but I'm from Belgium, so it's not perfect. First, I wanted to wish you all. A Merry Christmas. Maybe it's too soon. Maybe it's too late, but I said it. So let's go on. This little one is from 11, 11, 17. So it's my oldest one. You see, it's having a second leaf now. So, but how did I do that? It's quite easy. First of all, you have to buy seeds from someone you can trust. So I bought my seeds for the second time now from Steve Davis. You can find him on, uh, of Mark Davis, sorry, Mark Davis. You can find him on eBay. And what you do is the following. It's very, 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 very simple. You just put all your seeds in a tray of water. You see, these one are in here since the 27th of November. The little ones are older, so not all of them are the same age. But just today, I saw three of them having little roots and I potted them very, very carefully in these seven by seven pots. So what do you do? You put your seeds in the water. It's just tap water. Every day you refresh it. I didn't do that every day, but they recommend to do that. So second thing that is very important, your temperature has, between, has to be between I don't know if you can see it, but it has to be between 15 and 18 degrees. Very important. This plant comes from South Africa, so it's not that hot where it grows. So that's that you have to make the same conditions. So after two or three weeks, normally you should see little roots forming. If you see that, you take them very, 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 very carefully and put them in this kind of soil. It's what we call cactus soil. So it has to be very, very good, have to be having very good drainage. And you see, they are in water. So I leave them there for a week and then they sprout. And after a week, you can see these little ones coming up. And after two or three weeks, it's like this. And after two months, you get this. So if you have any questions, just ask and I will try to answer it as best as I can. So take care. You too, Jack. Take care of your health and I hope you will be healthy soon. Okay guys, this is a small update. So today we are the 20th of December 2017. And you see, this is the only one I kept. Uh, kept growing from the first batch of seeds. First batch of seeds were 20 seeds and six of them germinated in the water, but only three of them grow in the sand afterwards and of those three this one left this one is left so the new batch you see all of these germinated in the water 
at this moment we have 13 this is the, the one that germinated today and you can see if you look closely they started to grow so at this point I have eight that are growing in the sand so I hope you guys are convinced now that this method is the best method you can do so uh, I would say try it and let me know and I will make an update after New Year so Merry Christmas to everybody and a very 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 good 2018